So I've finally been able to create a power circuit, uh, the pulse circuit for this uh, thermo, Adams thermo motor. Uh, it is using a uh, optical sensor and a timing disc. I printed it so that it has a 30% duty cycle. Uh, here's the circuit. It will be powered by 120 volts coming from this bench power supply. And this is the circuit that um, Alexander, uh, someone who's watching this uh, YouTube channel as well, uh, created for me. This is going to be the very first test run actually. So uh, let's give it a go. I'll power it up. See there's 120 volts on there and hardly any power going in. It's just powering the uh, sensor now. So let's give it a spin. <laughs> okay, well it did something. Uh, but this is what keeps happening is that somehow I think the rotor just moves on the shaft because now there's you see there's a big spacing there and a zero spacing here so I feel the rotor is just moving on the shaft which is a bit of a problem so I'm gonna have to fix that but at least uh, the circuit works the motor will work um, I just have to fix uh, this thing in place and then uh, we should be good to go I epoxied the rotor into place so uh, Time for the second test. These are so cool. Transistor, the MOSFET is still cool. So yeah, the motor works, it makes a terrible noise, it's completely out of balance. So there's a lot to improve and also there's absolutely zero heat generated right now. Um, but we already expected that because our rotor layout is probably not what Adams was actually using. Um, yeah, and the gap spacing is way too wide. It should be 1.25 millimeters. So I'm going to reduce the gap spacing, try again. Okay, I just wanted to show you quickly something else I found out, thanks to Peter Lindemann. So this is the rotor I'm currently using. So it has four neodymium magnets and there are four uh, LED plugs uh, in between. Um, this is the layout I got from a third-party source, uh, but as you just saw, it didn't generate any heat. Now, when I uh, got this picture from uh, Peter Lindemann, uh, because I was I requested it because I had this one, but only in very poor quality, so he uh, Peter um, scanned it again for me. And what you can actually see is that there are not just four uh, magnets with something in between no there's like a magnet and then two smaller plugs of some sort next to it it could be two smaller magnets it could be some other type of material but at least it's clear that the layout is different than what i'm using so i sort of uh, to make it a bit more clear it seems to look something like this so it seems to be that there's this big magnet or maybe that's not the magnet maybe these two are the magnets or they're all three different materials i'm not sure um, but this is the layout that you see in this picture uh, it might be hard to see because I had to lighten it and sharpen it and everything just to, to see this. But there's clearly a different layout than what uh, I'm using now. This is what I'm using now. 
And this is the layout that you see in the picture. So I'm going to definitely have to experiment with a different rotor layout, different materials. But ideally, I would, of course, just hear it from Robert Adams' writings uh, or, or, or learn it from Robert Adams' writings uh, directly. So I've uh, put a lot of effort into getting into contact with uh, his relatives and uh, luckily I got uh, in contact with um, Robert Adams daughter and she said she has a lot of his writings um, and um, hopefully she's able to share them with me although I haven't heard from her in a while but I'm gonna try to see if I can um, yeah get her to, to share some of this information with us so we can together figure out what is going on with this uh, with this motor because uh, I feel like we're getting closer and closer. So thank you again for watching and also definitely check out my presentation that is finally out on emediapress.com, uh, the Robert Adams Pulsed Electric Motor Generator. There's a, a presentation I did during the Energy Science and Technology Conference this year and it contains a lot of, uh, of good information about uh, the, the thermo motor as well as the initial uh, pulse electric motor that Robert Adams developed. So definitely check that out. And um, yeah, thanks for watching and please subscribe if you want to follow this research. And please check out the description of the video because it always contains a lot of valuable links and uh, information. See you next time.